plan is right now is that we're going to keep it here for a month and then we're going to sail it around on the other side of Florida over the Cape. <laughs> December 2018. Cold. Overcast. It's sea trial day. Our first ride. Mandy and I watched in silence while the captain gave orders. Winches cranked, and sails filled with air. It's been a long road to get here. The possibility of owning a sailboat and seeing the world, exhilarating. But something we didn't consider until this day. How the hell would we sail this boat alone? We purchased Shanto the following month with these conditions. We weren't allowed to sail Shanto until a captain signed off on our abilities. Current abilities? Zero. To make things harder, our navigation electronics weren't working. Captain Z to show us how to turn on the lights to our boat. Oh, is that it? <gasps> Hello. Ah. Hi. Nice. Wonder how this works. This is Captain Z, our purchasing agent. Morning. Morning. Come aboard. Yes, sir. He's a sailor first, a yacht broker second, and a pirate always. Over the course of our purchase, he agreed to train us, but gave us no guarantees when we could sail alone. Perfect. As soon as it starts, you let go of the Look at your balance line. Perfect. Now we want to come around when we get lined up right between that boat with the wooden stern and the sailboat over here. We're going to go right down the middle. So you're going to turn which way to stop the swing? Right. So but ahead. once I'm down there, right? No, right now. Right now? Start stopping the swing because we want to go straight for a while. Okay. Start your turn gradually. Okay. Perfect. Just wait for it to clear this thing. Flip it in forward. Look behind you. Easy on the little throttle. Oh, <laughs> oh well, they're man. Wanting, they're wanting to hear off your life. <laughs> oh. Good job. How it's always moisturizing. <laughs> um, I mean, good. I like that you're my little backup. I can hear you back there. This couple, I need, didn't need much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, don't hit any expensive boats. Got some butterflies in my stomach. You're doing great. <laughs> you, this is absolutely perfect. You, you have not had one little glitch. A little bit more forward. Come on. Bow thrust up. No, 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 no. Easy, easy. Move your hand out there. Neutral. Throttle back and reverse. Throttle back and reverse. Throttle back. Come on, give me some juice. That was not good. Too much. Came in too tight. That's it. Back out. You ain't gonna end like that, bite. That was terrible, bite. That was terrible. Slide sideways. Right. If you turn it the wrong way, the boat swoosh. That's what you did at the last second. You turned this way, so the bow swung into the dock. Mm -hmm. If you'd have turned the other way, you just slid right into the corner. Okay. That's all you did. But you know what you did great? You didn't panic. You didn't freak out. You 
just just dealt with the issue, right. thought through it. That's how you do it. Over the next two months, we trained to sail. We docked over and over and over. If we messed up, we'd do it again. Captain Z's knowledge and cool demeanor gave us confidence in what we were learning. Over time, the thought of sailing alone seemed possible, but we still had some issues we needed to work out. Not that I don't think you can't do it, but that you're not gonna have enough time in between like weekend sessions with Captain Z and that you'll go in, you'll take out the electronics, you'll try and fiddle around with the wires underneath and won't be able to put it back together by the next time we go out. So we don't know depth and we don't know speed or we, you know, like we, we don't have anything to go off of. We're like, what if the autopilot doesn't work because you've yeah. taken that apart? There it is. And the Ray Marine Electronics has one. I cannot remove all of the wires. Getting these wires out is like playing a game of whack-a-mole. Every time I think I found them, I find ten more. Day three of the electronics install and I forgot what I was going <laughs> to say. Alright, so what I'm doing is we are replacing the chart plotter and this is the Garmin 8612. It's a brand new chart plotter. Then I bought the uh, autopilot. So what we're doing with the autopilot is we're not replacing the um, actuator or the pump that actually turns the rudder, but we're replacing the computer and the compass. We got some new instruments. We got these GMI 20s. They have lots of cool colors and they can change from all the different uh, things. We can go from wind, speed, um, depth. Mandy and uh, Captain Z have also told me I'm not allowed to get on the mast by myself or try to climb up the mast because uh, we have a harness. It's a self-climbing harness. and and they keep telling me not to do that. I don't really appreciate that advice. But those pain in my ass. That was not easy. Where is it? Oh. Here. Oh, I'm. That's fine. It's so hard to work with. <laughs> the biggest thing we were hoping, because uh, we got two sailing weeks. Mandy has um, surgery in two weeks. Um, so we can't sail that weekend and we can sail this weekend next week and we were hoping to do this two-day sail and get the sign off from you to be able to operate the boat on our own well, that's, yeah. why, that's why I kind of wanted to like that's why I wanted to have a paper chart to say okay take me up to the you know the Manatee River and anchor, anchor the boat up. yeah and then bring me back okay and yeah see if you can do it there you go. All right, so we're going to do a tack, and uh, you're going to do the uh, 90 degree turn from a port tack to starboard tack, and Brian's going to do the release. Uh, <laughs> Prepare to tack. Ready. Hey, hold up. You might want to check that other winch. Make sure it's not loaded. Get that ready to rock. Prepare to attack. Let's do that again.
I took three days off of work to finish the electronics. Unfortunately, Mandy's not here because she has to work a regular job, which I do too, but I took off as I was saying. So the reason being is that we have two weekends of sailing left before we have to move the boat from St. Petersburg, Florida over to Cape Canaveral, Florida, which is basically just going around Florida. And I want to have the electronics installed and tested before that. I ran new power for the autopilot. I don't know why, I'm just like not very smart. But I realized they already had power run to it and this is the main power coming off the uh, circuit panel. Mandy says you cannot climb the mast by yourself, but this top climber says otherwise. That wasn't that hard. The uh, real issue though is that the conduit inside the mass like the mass is here, the conduit's inside. The conduit is slid down inside the mass to where it's touching the base plate, pretty much making it impossible to get any wires back in that conduit. So I called a rigger and they said what they need to do is take the entire mass down to run the wires in there. That should about do it. I've just hooked up the power for the chart plotter, the NEMA bus, and the autopilot. I've hooked them all up to a relay switch, so if I did everything right, um, I won't blow any fuses and I won't catch any wires on fire, and hopefully not burn up my equipment. No pops. Let's go check it out. This is this changes everything, man. Done. Worked. Ooh, a new toy. I feel the need for speed. <laughs> <laughs>
That's your best one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We'd been sailing for two months when Captain Z gave us our final test. We'd sail our boat to Tampa Bay and back to our slip, alone. The captain would be watching us from another boat, but not close enough to give us instructions or help us if we messed up. Pilings are still standing. They're still yeah. there, all four of them. <laughs> so I think uh, you know when you're in your uh, comfort zone and you know when you're not. And you know, we've talked about doing the safe thing if you're not in your comfort zone. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you guys are going to be fine. I think, uh, you know, you totally got my sign off. I mean, nice. I think that you're ready to, 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 ready to go, go sailing, you know. And, you know, like I said, you know, you just got to be smart sailors in the beginning. And realize you're, you know, you got a license to kill now. You know, you know what you're doing enough to get in over your head. Well, sir, <laughs> thank you so much. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, man. It's, been it's been so been, great working with you. Fun. You've been a wonderful coach. Yeah, well, you guys. Over fun. beers, we accepted oh, our win and reflected on the long road to get here. <laughs> we lived in the moment that day, but the road ahead of us would be tougher yet. <laughs> 